What's up guys, it's Greg. Today I want to give you guys a little product review of the Andrew Golubek Pronation Trainer, as you can see. But it's way more than this, just a pronation trainer. You can train pronation, uh, your rising, uh, supination to a certain degree, but that's a little bit more awkward. But yeah, I got this from my buddy Andrew Golubek. Go hit him up. Got his links in the description below. And thank you also to Tyler for helping me get this from Andrew and passing it to me at IFA Worlds. So as you can tell from the chalk in the handle, I've been messing around with it for a little while now. And I think it's really, really good for a couple reasons that I'll go into really soon. But first I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the, uh, the actual stats on this um, or the measurements. Uh, so the, from here to here, the handle where you can actually grip on, it's about five inches. And then the entire length from end to end is about seven inches or so um, and then the radius which is from the middle here to the groove where the rope runs through that is roughly 3.5 inches so as most of you may know who took high school physics the larger the radius of something like this the more the the force the, the greater the moment of the force is gonna be so if this were wider than the force around that um, that's gonna be pulling on the rope, it's gonna be bigger. So yeah, just gonna show you guys how to use it for a couple of basic lifts. Um, you can see I've got like uh, 22 pounds here, uh, 10 kilograms loaded on my loading pin. And uh, even with just 10 pounds, it is already a lot of weight, um, especially for the riser. So just a simple rising lift of uh, wrist rise uh, isolation with 10 pounds. You could do it uh, statically, so lock your riser and then lift it up as well. That's completely fine. Uh, same thing with pronation, you could do it dynamically or you could do it like a locked pronation type of lift. Really, really good. And also if you do have access to a high cable pulley attachment, you can do a downward angle pronation training as well. Um, you can switch around to do supination as well. But yeah, this really, really isolates your pronation. Really good exercise. You're gonna be using such small weights, so humbling. And uh, you use a lot of stabilizing muscles with this uh, just because of how far the force is away from your hand. So typically, if you use something like um, a martial arts belt, you would do it around, maybe let's say your thumb, and you see the moment of the force is just from here to here. So that's probably, I don't know, I have a pretty thin hand, so that's maybe an inch at most. Uh, whereas if you're using this sort of handle, you know, the force from uh, your hand to the back, that's like, what, 3.5 inches. So more than three, th three times the distance um, so much more force. If I could do like uh, 30 kilos like that easily, um, probably 10 kilos on this handle is already a lot. And um, also adds in a lot more stability issues. Um, if you can see me trying to lift, there's a little bit of shaking going up, um, a little bit of balance issues, um, just because I have to use way more stabilizing muscles to keep that uh, in the groove. Um, to keep my form good. So this kind of lift uh, with this handle is very, very humbling. Uh, you're not gonna use crazy weights for this, uh, but I think it's a really good accessory. Um, it's not a super important tool. It's not like the first tool you should get as an arm wrestler if you wanna become an arm wrestler, but definitely down the road, if you're looking to add on some tools to your training kit, definitely consider getting and Andrew Gulabek pronation trainer. I think it's really good for accessory lifts and uh, it'll probably enhance my life. And uh, because I'm on a recovery program right now, I think this is a perfect tool for me going with light weights, uh, slowly building myself back up. And hopefully next year, uh, we'll see the dividends from training with this tool. So once again, thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Tyler. See you guys in the next video.